Okay, I'm gonna get going. Let's get going. Let's try it. Just uh, I'm gonna watch this. Watch this fade. Ready for the fade? 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 Did it fade over? I hope it faded over. That would have been fun if it faded over. Uh, welcome to Web Driver Web Web Driver I O Wednesdays. Um, this music is just getting me all crazy. Um, is what's going on is, and so turn it down just a little bit uh, so it's not quite so distracting. I do enjoy the chip tune, so very fun. Um, okay, what was I talking? What was I going to talk about today? We're going to talk about timeouts, timeouts, and how great timeouts are. Um, if you have anything that comes up and you want to throw it at me, uh, feel free to join at a later stream. Um, if you can't join today, then um, join another time and ask questions. More than happy to hear questions, um, help you with things, um, help you debug stuff, help you look through stuff, and um, kind of see what's out there. So uh, with that, I think I was about to get started with a basic um, WebDriver IO installation. Um, I should just get into like cloning, making a basic installation and then just copying it over. Uh, I might actually do that from a previous example. So I'm going to go into my WebDriver IO directory. Um, let's see, I've got execute in there. Have I done execute? Uh, I always forget what I've done. I think last time we were looking at the visual regression service. Um, so I'm actually going to copy that over, uh, so I don't have to reinstall everything. We're not going to look at visual regression testing today. Um, although I may mention a thing or two about it. I probably, probably won't get into it, but, um, I do want to look at timeouts. So, um, cause I had, um, somebody asked me about timeouts and, and getting all that set up. So I want to. Just go ahead and copy that over. It's going to copy all the node modules over so that we don't have to reinstall them, which takes a little bit more time than just copying it does. So we'll go to that directory and check things out. Open up a spline text into there. Um, let's see. Don't need that. Got to get spline text opened. There we go. Okay. Throw that on there. And then um, from here, I should be able to pop open my package JSON. I'm just going to leave this in here because I don't really care. Um, we are not going to use it, but there's no harm really in keeping that in there. I am going to open up the configuration file and get rid of this code because that's not needed. Um, leave it at Chrome. And yeah, we can test, uh, we'll, we'll probably change this because I wanna test something more dynamic. Um, this is a, a static website, so it doesn't have any JavaScript that loads anything. Uh, but we are gonna turn off the visual regression service. Uh, we don't need it for now. Um, so we may take some screenshots here and there um, to kind of see where the state of the page is at, but I'm gonna do that. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is change my Mocha options to um, raise my timeout to, let's just raise it to a very high number. And reason for doing this is I want to be able to go into debug mode to kind of see where the page is at any, any point in time. Um, and by having this timeout high enough, it's not gonna, not gonna knock me out of the debug mode when I'm going through there. So got my package set up. Um, I'll change this over to timeout. And then I should I should keep uploading these um, Git files when I can, but I don't. So anyway, let's open up this. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screenshots folder. I don't need that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up, um, see what's inside our test folder. We have test specs and then header. So um, I probably don't wanna do header. What I wanna do right now is figure out what I actually wanna test. So these are t timeouts. Timeouts, there's different variations of timeouts out there. Um, you've got the basic Selenium timeouts. So this is saying the Selenium session itself has a certain amount of timeout or a certain amount of time it will run um, before the session times out and just quits out. That's to help prevent if you have um, something go wrong in your Selenium session and your script fails, but that Selenium session is still open it's going to, um, it, it would stay open until you're done, until you 
close it up manually, but this way with timeouts, it'll automatically close at a certain point. So I had set, um, let's see, session. Sorry, I, sorry if my voice is a little nasally. It's, um, I, th I have a cold, so thankfully you don't have to be right next to me, but. Okay, so let's see, it, it's if nothing is happening, specify the time to wait for asynchronous scripts to run. Okay, then there's also the page load timeout. So this is waiting for the page to load. Um, and then there's the implicit wait timeout. And uh, this is when you're looking for elements. And what's interesting is that it defaults to zero milliseconds. So it can't fi if it can't find that element right away, um, it will break your task break your test right away. So you can change that by setting browser timeouts, uh, uh, browser timeouts to implicit and then how long you wanna wait. So that's one way to wait for elements to load on your page. So let's see, um, Angular to app example. So what I want to do is just run this local, uh, run this app, and I guess I could run it locally. I was kind of hoping it would have something already there. We don't have anything there. App tools. Okay, so I want this. Uh, maybe. I'm trying to figure out if they have an example like a demo running right off the, the bat that you can just go to instead of trying to get all this stuff si uh, set up because I could um, spend my time setting it up, but that would take a while. So this has code examples. Let's see if it has any actual examples. Hey, I got a uh, voicemail. Maybe I'll just run this one. All right, I was already there. All I want is a simple Angular website to test this out on. Not frustrating at all. Chatbot, Angular feed. How about this? Perfect, okay. This is what we're gonna test ngbot.io. And the reason we're gonna test this is if I go to the page source, you can see it's all injected via um, Angular. So um, this isn't specifically about testing Angular, it's about testing websites that are built using a front-end framework. So Angular is one of them, React is another, and uh, other sort of thing out there. So 